Let me touch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you demon. Come on. Come on. You are leaving here. Come on. Is he your wife? Eh? Yes. She's Thank, your you, wife Thank you, Jesus. She's yes. possessed. Yes. That's true. I was planning a journey to go to Scorn. Eh? I was planning a journey to go to Scorn. You were planning to go to Scorn with her? Yes. There's a demon in her. Lift her. Yes, for so many years. And this demon doesn't make her to respect you. Yes, that's true, Daddy. Eh? That's true, Daddy. So there's nothing you can say that she take. But forgive her. Okay, Come on, daddy. the demon. What did I do to her? Look at the demon. Huh? I'm making them to, to suffer. You are making them to suffer? Even so now their house. Their what? The tenants there. There's they a tenant. burn their house. The I'm tenants, making them the to The tenants suffer. burn your house. Yes, I don't want them to have any money. As long as he has my wife, he will suffer. I will never leave him Brother, until he leaves my wife. You marry someone's wife. Yeah. Spend That's no true, money. Daddy. That yeah. man is very rich, Which but wife? he will never get any cent because he took my wife away from me. She's supposed to be my wife, but he took it from me. Are you a and spiritual the husband? The problem is that this man loves this spiritual. wife so much. The I can't even husband. sleep with my wife anymore because of this man. You see this man? He used to pray so much. But I've made him to not to pray anymore. Brother, how is she in your house, your wife? She's very manipulative and controlling. She's manipulative and controlling? Yes, she, she, con she, she likes to be a man in the house. And you become a woman? Yes. And what is it that you are doing uh, that she wants you to do most of the time? No, sometimes when she's angry, she doesn't want to cook, so I cook. I look after the children, I bath the children. You cook? Yes, daddy. Uh, uh, your food is a uh, real food when you cook. <laughs> and she come and eat? Yes, she eats. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. So this is the demon that is causing that. Don't worry. Okay, daddy. So the house is burned. You are the one who built the house. I don't want them to have money. You don't want them to have money. Even when I've cost, uh, he used to work at the mine. I've made the management there to hate him. He was fired at work last year. Is he stayed for five months. Is it months. because of you? <laughs> Are you the one who cost them? He took my wife. He took your wife? Brother, you give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Yeah. Then I will leave him alone. He must give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Exactly. The she demon, was the demon said, given to me Caesar. before even she was even born. Demon said, give Caesar what belonged to Caesar. Her grandmother, she divorced at an old age. Don't worry. The don't grandmother. Worry. Whatever you are hearing, don't worry about it. The Lord is in control. The grandmother. Okay, did you think The grandmother you suffered. The whole family from so, her side suffered. Are you coming here for the first so time? why must she leave? Are like a queen. No. I can't hear. Are no. you coming here for the first time? No, I've, uh, this is my third time. This is the third time? Yes. So you wanted to take her for deliverance? Yes, at the squad. Huh? Yes. So. Yeah? Let this, this I don't know Give what to call hand. them to leave me. So that I can, be, I can be able to talk to you. I'm shaking freely. hand with you. Let them leave me. Deliver your wife. Huh? Del deliver your wife. I, I command you in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out. You are back on the floor. You are back on the floor. Come out of here. You are back on the floor. <laughs> that demon. <laughs> that demon knows. That. 
Deliver is deliver. Deliver. Put your hand there on the chair. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> say, you are free, say. You are free in Jesus' name. Live Live The demon will come out. You see, brother, she's free now. She must cook for you. Thank you, Jesus. Take your wife. Rise up. Rise up there. Rise up. Uh, tell her you are free. Tell her. You are free in Jesus' name. Hug her. Hug her. Give her a big kiss. Give her. Sister, look here. Don't cry, don't cry, it's over. She's surprised people are looking at her. And then also you must know that it's not her, it's a what? It's a demon. Remember that demons make you a wicked. It makes you ungodly. And this man loved his wife. Uh, he is tired. His spirit is tired. Sometimes you look around, you find, you know, somebody is controlled by demon, and you are also not controlled, but you are doing what the person is doing. When the person clap, you want to clap. If a person, sister, how do you feel? I'm fine. Don't cry. Don't cry. God loves you. Uh, you are, listen to this. L listen to this. Remember, this is a generational case. What happened to her happened to her grandmom, happened to her mom. Now she's married now. And then I want to tell you, you are going to enjoy marriage, but you must never, listen my sister, you must never allow your husband to cook for you. Yeah, yes. Huh? Yes, sister. Yeah, even when you feel lazy, know that there's a demon. There are some things that you people can be aware if it's a demon or not. When you're feeling like, no, I don't want to cook today, stand up, fight it. Go and cook because it's not you. You find that sometimes it comes like a thought. I'm sure you understand that. And you say, no, no, today, let's go and let's. The moment you just hear, let's go and eat outside, say, eh, eh. No, I will wait for my husband to do that. I'm not going to eat outside. I want to cook. And you tell your husband, I want to cook for you. You understand? You are overcoming that demon. But if now you entertain this demon saying, go outside and eat. You say, I don't feel like cooking. Can we go outside? You tell your husband. This demon, you are giving him chance now. Giving him chance. You must do everything for your husband. Otherwise, somebody will replace you. If somebody cook for you, you go outside there. You go to the, let's say, mug and bean. When you reach the, my sister, you'll be surprised those sisters who are cooking for your husband. They will be passing in front of your husband like this. Like this. And yourself know that you brought your husband there. If you take your husband out, you are losing your husband. Cook for your husband. There will be a time your husband sees you are tired. He will come to the kitchen. Don't call your husband to the kitchen. No, you will see the need. Uh, my wife is tired. Now you will come to the, I'm sure you understand that. He will come to help you. Most of the time, we open space for Satan, and Satan enters. Like myself, uh, always I'm eating food, but I can't cook. I'm sure you understand that. Tell somebody says, you must cook for your husband. The food, if mama cook food, I'll tell you. If mama cook food, I know. I can tell you, even when mama bring food there, and I'm sitting there, if I'm eating papa, I take papa like this, I'll tell you. Ask mama, will tell you. 
I'll tell you that this food, Mama, this papa is not you, it's not you who cook it. But the papa of Mama, I know it. I can tell you. And then when I eat that papa, I feel I feel relieved. The moment I take papa of mama, I do like this. The heat inside the papa, it doesn't go. But, but if you are somebody's cooking, I take like this here. Even when I do like this, I'll find my hand, all of it here. It's papa. But that one of mama, if I do like this, I do like my, my hand is still clean. When I eat it, it just goes nicely without problem. I don't need water to shallow. I'm sure you understand that. So you people, you know, your wife, if you are a wife of this husband, know that your husband wants to eat what you are cooking. If not, you are giving your husband poison. That's why very soon, if your husband is eating outside, whatever, you'll come and say, I've got constipation. I don't know what is happening. It's food that you are bringing in your house. Very soon you are fighting. In Nigeria language, they say, whoever cooks for you, you have eaten that person. If now a lady come and cook for me, I have eaten the person. So the character of the person will start to be visible on me. That's what we have got spirit. Spirit of lust, problems, whatever. It's the food you are eating. So be careful of food. From now on, how many of you are wives here? Cook for your husband. Are you a wife, brother? Yes. Cook. <laughs> Cook for your husband. Can you tell? Can you tell the wife close to you? Are you a wife? Are you a wife? Cook for your husband. And take the food. Take the food. Don't do this thing of 50-50. It's demonic. It's demonic. Take the food and bring it to your husband. And put it there, like this. Bring water like this. Your husband wash your hands. Like that. Don't say water is there. Food is there. Water is there. You are, you are possessed. The spiritual husband will possess you. You become a man. What you need to do, take water, bring it to your husband. You will enjoy it. You will feel you are a wife. You, you, you will feel small. Even when your husband can't carry you, but you will feel he carry you. I'm sure you understand that. Because I'm looking at you, some of you, you don't understand what is marriage. I, I just said that I must tell some people. Marriage is your, you, your husband, you play your part, she play her part. When you play your part, you do it like you are doing it for God. When she play her part, she do it like she's doing it for God. No, let's go out. Let's go out. Let's go. One day you'll be working like this. With, we are going out. There comes Mrs. South Africa. You find you're holding with your husband, and your husband is passing like, doing like this. <laughs> you forget you are, you are very heavy this side. You are, you are putting trouble to your marriage. Can I pray for you? How many of you want prayers even now here? Yes. Let me come you. You need a deliverance. Come on. Come on. Come on. You need deliverance. Where is your husband? Come. You hear the message I'm speaking? Yes. Eh? It's your yes. message. Yes. You need deliverance. You Thank need you, to Jesus. Yourself. Thank you, Jesus. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. You need to have 100%. Eh? It's 100% truth. It's 100% truth. Yeah. What I'm Every you. day, KFC, wherever. You are tired. Day. Thank you, 
Jesus. You are, you are even tired. I'm tired. Maybe I don't want anybody even to come in and say we want to talk Everyone about this. Everyone KFC, it. chicken liquor, whatever. I mean, I blood, sugar, diabetes, everywhere. Maybe our kids are there, they can talk about this. Let me call them. Abetandra, Ayabonga, come here. They are, they are also tired. Every Re day. Respect your husband. Shit. Respect what? Your Zan. husband. Look here. Please. By doing that, you are killing your husband and you are killing yourself. And you are not teaching your children. Look at this. How old are you? Nine. Nine. Just listen. So, you're, where do you go and eat? Um, Talk. Dead. Don't know. You are going to shops? Yes. Which one do you remember? Yesterday, where did you go? Um. <laughs> the money you are spending in there. If you buy food, you bring it here, you cook. You are able to save. You are able to do one, two, three. Yes. Be a wife. That's why I say you need deliverance. Because, okay, look here. Let's take the money of this man is finished. What are you going to do? Because now your, your, your relationship now is based on where you can go and eat. You are bringing a crack to your marriage. You're an example of what I'm talking about. This money you're supposed to be putting it there, investing it, doing something about it for the sake of these children. And these children, they're learning nothing. You hear me? Yes, man of huh? God. Yes, man of God. Are you going to change? Yes, man of God. When was the last time you cooked for him? Yesterday. Yesterday? Yes. We were not home. We were in Pretoria, in someone's flat. And then herself, she's tired eating outside. And then she said, today I want to cook. Oh, because and she was tired. We, yeah, well, because of the money we are spending the whole day and about four days or five days ago. She decided to cook I'm, yesterday. I'm very afraid for you. Because you need to value what God has given you. I'm not saying don't go outside. You understand? But this marriage is going outside. To extend that, this man can't say anything. Can't say anything. And then if this man can't say anything, where are you going? Because whether you fast 40 days, you can't be a man. I'm sure you hear what I'm trying to say. Yes, man of God. God loves you. I'm saying this because of the love of God for you. Many things you are crying for, God gave you. If you play with it, you will lose it and you will never get it the rest of your life. One of the things that I'm afraid for you for is cholesterol. The very soon you catch cholesterol. And nobody can heal that cholesterol. Can you see where you're going? You get out of the way, you expose your marriage, certain enters, it gives you disease. And you find that now, you can't go and eat outside. Can't you? God is speaking with you. Through that disease, you make a mistake. The food that you didn't want to eat long time, you also need them now. So that you live long. You are free. Can you stand up? My name is Dineo Mushwan. I'm from Kronstadt. Can you also... Introduce yourself to us. Uh, my name is Brian Moshwana. We are coming from Kronstadt. Can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Uh, the prophet told me that uh, my wife, she is possessed with uh, generational spirits. And I confirm it to be true for my life. What was happening with you? Uh, I used to be angry for no reason. Almost uh, uh, angry at all times. At my husband, sometimes I'll even shout the kids in the house. I'll be angry sometimes, I'll cry, I'll feel like unwanted, like nobody cares about me. 
I'll even shout at him like he doesn't care about me. Yeah, most of the time I'm sad, I'm angry. Yes. And were there things that you were supposed to do but you would make him to do? Yes, when, when I'm angry, I don't, I don't do nothing in the house. He will even take the kids just to, leave, to give me some space. If I woke up, sometimes I'll just wake up angry for no reason. Then when he sees that I'm angry, he will take the kids and they will go out maybe for, for two, three, four hours just to, just to give me that some time alone. Then when they come back, sometimes I'll be fine. Sometimes I'll, they will come back and find me the same. Yeah. And how has this affecting you? It has affected me because I'm not happy. I spend uh, most of, the, of my time being angry, being sad, and I'm not working. So I was thinking maybe sometimes I, I will think that I will, I will see him as an enemy, like he doesn't love me, doesn't care for me because I'm staying at home. Yeah. And were you aware that maybe there were spirits behind you that were making you to be the way you were? At first, I didn't know, but there was this church that I went to where I started manifesting, but I didn't know that I was manifesting. I just saw myself shaking. didn't understand what was going on, what was happening with my life, because after that, nobody came to me and explained to me what was going on. Then I kept on going to churches around this South Africa. I've gone to so many churches. Then as time goes by, that's when I understood that, oh, they said there's a spirit in me. As time goes on, then I, s I saw myself speaking, the spirit in me manifesting. So then I realized that there's a problem, there is something wrong with me. Even when I look back at the, ge the, the generation that I'm coming from, the life of my mother, the way she lived her life, then that's when I realized that there is something, there is a problem with me. And I was always telling my husband that I need deliverance, I need deliverance. But every time when I told him that I need deliverance, he would take me to church. He's a very supportive hus husband and understanding. Yeah, if, if I tell him that let's go to this church, I've heard as a pastor there, he will take me there and I will manifest. But when I get at home, nothing's changed. And Papa, how was the behavior of your wife affecting you? Uh, the behavior was very, uh, actually, so sad because of uh, she was uh, a man in the house, not wanting to hear anything, always angry, and uh, most of the time she does. If she's angry, she doesn't want to hear even a word. She she's always wanting to block me, not to wanting to hear anything. What I'm saying to her, uh, <coughs> she doesn't cook. Uh, she's always uh, crying. She can cry for the whole week, sitting in the room crying, or maybe the whole night not sleeping, even uh, talking to herself or waking me up and then telling me, uh, she's telling me that she's got this problem and uh, I cannot solve it. That's why I was telling the prophet that uh, uh, I was planning to take her to scorn. So it's very true. What the prophecy that the uh, man of God gave me is very true. And uh, the the behavior of my wife it was so severe that uh, sometimes I couldn't bear it. But as a man, I couldn't fr I couldn't cry in front of her. I was just holding on and believing in God that God will uh, make a way for us. And how did you feel when you saw your wife today receiving her deliverance? No, I was very happy when actually I was in the under pressure and tension because man of God when he passed. I thought maybe it's not going to come, but I was busy uh, meditating inside my heart. And then when he called me and I saw my wife manifesting, I knew, I knew that it, it is done. Amen. And how are you feeling after your deliverance? Now I feel fine. I feel light. Before man of God came, there was this pain here. There's a moving object in here. Uh, as he was delivering other people, the pain, it was, I, f I felt it more. But now, uh, after uh, my deliverance, I've touched myself here. Yeah, I can't hear that pain in, anymore. Yeah. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? Okay, what I can say to the viewers is that don't lose hope. I know that sometimes it can be so hard that you'll even ask yourself if God can hear you or maybe sometimes I, 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 will, I, I felt like maybe God he doesn't see me crying. But uh, I want to tell the viewers that there's still hope even if you have those challenges, just hold on to God, keep praying and keep trusting in God.